We've got a clash of the titans right now. Crossing titles. Oh. We've got Apology Man. Man. A master of many, many traditional fighting many, games. Many, 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 many games. He has, of course, Blaze Blue under Blaze his belt as one of the best Hawkmans. And, of course, Marvel. 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 Yes. And uh, we got Zero, the Titan. Oh. The greatest Smash 4 player on the earth right now. Yes. Many people, though, are challenging him for this title. Apology Man is one of them. He told me earlier today, I am going to wreck Zero. Ooh. I want to destroy this man. Ooh. And he's always been a threat. All the top players have always said, like, Apology Man, every time I play him, there's just this feeling like I could lose at any point in time. Yes. And he's been in the lab practicing with customs. Practicing against some higher level players. And uh, I want to see what he brings to the table against Zero. Hell yeah. You could definitely lose at any time. Mostly because he plays Lucario. When it comes down to Lucario intelligence, just... these guys are probably very close. Yes. In skill when it comes down to the fighting games. Oh, most, most definitely. Just because Apology Man has been playing so many different games. Yes. He knows many, many different kinds of play styles. He experienced all of them. Right. He knows how to play against He's all a master of, them. of the neutral game. Yes. Oh, and yeah, that's... Being a top-level uh, player in any game transitions really well over to another semi-fighter. you know, fighter, yes. Something that's very similar. I, I've been told a lot that Street Fighter is very similar to Smash 4. Oh, yeah. And Street Fighter is definitely all about the neutral game. Yes. And I would say Marvel actually is a lot about the neutral game because whoever yeah. gets the first hit in the neutral game, of course, will be able to take out the character. And Those in Apology Man's case... Not stop. He, yeah. Of course, Apology Man's case, because his team has, like, a blockables, yeah. will take out your entire team. So you've yeah. got to be good at the neutral game. But Apology now Man he's got Lucario, a character who... He is the strongest character in the game with Rage Factor. Oh, by a yeah. long shot. He can kill people at 30% easily. Everything just gets better with more damage. Yes. Yeah. So if Zero can't close out the stocks, Apology Man is really good. At staying alive, he has a really good opportunity of taking Zero out if he can beat one of the best Smash 4 players in the world, if not the best yeah. right now. If, uh, if he manages to get past 120, then Diddy Kong will no longer have any access to down throw up air. Yeah. Because you could just DI away, and then it's going to be a little bit harder for Zero to get the kill off yes, of the definitely. throw. But. Well... Looks like these guys are just picking out their characters, probably talking about what stage they're going to go to next. Okay. Well, it looks like they're just filling in a custom set here. Yep. We got 10 different custom sets oh, now man. for each character. So many custom sets. This so is... many. We were plugging away, putting all the customs in on all the setups there. Doing, doing four whole setups. Yes. So... so what do you think Apology Man needs to do to take a game, the set, anything off of Zero here? I definitely think that Aura Spheres are def are going to be the key. A lot of Aura Spheres, and Apology Man is great as Aura Spheres. The yeah. basic Aura Spheres makes them extremely mobile, and at a high percent, those Aura Spheres are going to be doing 8 to 9 uncharged. Wow. So Decent amount of damage. That is a great amount of damage. And he only needs maybe 6 of them. Before getting a kill with a side B, which is really hard to hit, or a, uh, a good forward smash, which the range on that thing is absolutely ridiculous. And it would probably end up killing like around like 70 or 65. That is it's... incredible. Oh, yeah. Lucario has a lot of very, very cool mechanics that added on with rage became extremely powerful. But we do have Diddy Kong, the best character in the game who's going to be going off against Apology Man here. And of course, if he gets a grab, it's done. Oh, that's right. With this particular Lucario. So, um, if he's looking at the if he's looking at the 112, I believe the second one is going to be the paralyzing counter. So that when so, he counters the moves, he'll be able to get a grab off of it. Or, or follow up with a punish. Most, uh, and you do not want to let Lucario get a free follow up. That yeah. sounds horrifying. Yeah. This, oh, just, it just sends me just sends servers up my spine. Just because a forward smash will yeah. probably kill you at like 50. If you if you take the wrong step and he gets a counter on you, yeah. you're probably going to die. It looks like two. Zero is going Diddy Kong. 
in this matchup. The first states they're going to, though. Smashville. Smashville. Of course. Traditional starter. Probably Let's one of the, the best stars. Right into it here, guys. Zero versus Apology Man. Zero, of course, wants a banana on the field. Being able to trip any character is very, very go. strong. But Apology Man already opens up with a solid double forward air combo off of grab. That's uh, that's definitely going to be Lucario's BNB here. It's going to be the uh, the grab, up throw, into a forward air or an up air string. Zero ended up rolling into the Aura Sphere, and Apology Man got a grab off of it. Already 61% tacked on the zero. Oh, that was a bad downer, though. That allowed Diddy Kong to get a, a free forward air. Diddy Kong's forward air, not entirely fair. No pun intended. <laughs> it is a very, very strong move, both in damage and right. in frames. It comes out super fast. Yeah. Not to mention the priority as well. Yeah. There goes the up throw up air. Ooh, that Aura Sphere is just going to be doing more and more damage. The percent for Apology Man, it was almost in his favor if he didn't get hit with that very strong punish of... I, I honestly don't see why anyone would do a roll onto the stage anymore at this point. Just because you're only vulnerable... If you do a standard getup, you might be in the same place, but you're only vulnerable for a single frame. Then you get invincibility frames, and then can immediately act out of it. While well, as opposed to doing a roll onto the stage, it's what cost him. It looks like Orsier ended up getting stopped by a banana. I think that might be why Zero is leaving the banana on the field. That was very smart. Apology Man still has a pretty good opportunity. He's not at too high a percent. He should be able to fairly easily kill Diddy Kong at this point. But just getting that opportunity is going to be very difficult. Oh yeah, most definitely. His his kill moves are like the smash attacks, but none of his aerials really will, will end up doing the trick, at least all high percents. Oh, he could have shot out the aura sphere and got him with the front end. Yeah, that probably would have ended up guaranteeing him a kill there. Already though, Apology Man's taking too much percent. Zero's completely okay with just whittling away at Apology Man right oh, now. Yeah. The rage just, just oh. got into effect right there, but the up air, no DI. Two stock on that first game. Apology Man is back <laughs> in his chair like, what am I going to do? Yep. <laughs> the the only times where Apology Man actually lost, though, was just because he decided to do a get-up option. Just that He decided to either roll or jump off of the ledge, as opposed to doing a regular get-up attack, which is extremely hard to punish unless you are on point, like Zero said. Right. You have one frame. One single frame to punish a get-up attack before yeah. the opponent's able to, do, before you're able to do anything. And But again, because he did not choose that option, he got punished. And it lost him both of his stocks that game. And Zero was really good about just playing very patiently in the neutral in that second stock. They're going to FD. Pretty interesting stage choice yeah, here. Is. I think it, it's just so that Aura Spheres will, will be a little bit more effective. There's nowhere to really run but up. I, I I do agree that it would be with FD, but it sometimes it should be better to oh, pick a Mega Stage. Just because the Blast Zones will, will vary from stage to stage. Yeah, it's true. I think the Apology Man is more interested in getting into the, the mind of Zero. Figuring out how to play against extremely intelligent player. That, that is something very important that you need to, uh, you need to do. Tried to go for a counter. Didn't end up working out for Apology Man, but almost that time. That counter will give him a great opportunity to close out of stock, but the oh, up yeah. throw, up air. Knowing zero, it has to be something that Lucario's very, very bad against. The thing that Lucario is actually kind of heavy or else he definitely would have died from that. Oh, but that's Goes it. Goes for the down throw. Very smart there. Using the up throw earlier so that it messes up the mind of your opponent. Going, hey, you don't know what throw I'm going to use. Up throw's been working. Now I'm going to use a down throw. You're not DIing properly. Then it's bring up airs. Percent's already tacked on. Zero's not even at 100 quite yet. Apology Man has an uphill battle right now. The, uh, the up throw is actually like, it's only very, it's very specific percent that you can do that. You can only do it probably about like 50 to 70 or 80 percent. And then from there, you have to go to down throw. Solid up air off of Apology Man, but 
look at these, these tiny little two-hit jabs that Zero is doing here. He's just like, I'm going to throw out one or two hits. I'm going to rack up some percent. He knows that he doesn't really have to approach. Ooh. Did you see that? That was, a that, side <laughs> that was That was absolutely amazing. F-Smash would have done it if he got the spacing right. Side B, already sending Apology Man pretty far. 110%. Really smart to use the peanuts. That way, Apology Man can't come straight at him. Banana on the ledge. Yep. Forward smash, and that is a done deal. Apology Man gets two stocks. Yes. Two times. And I believe there was a handshake. Good. <laughs> the... There was no salt there. He, no he salt. knew exactly what he was going up against. 